what is going on we are back in the multiverse today we are checking out the diesel and doink from the wwe mattel creations new generation ring uh crowdfunding backer that was uh put together i think it was last year obviously as you can see we did the crowdfund on it. We were one of the early ones, so we got the Doink the Clown Ultimate. We've got the Diesel Ultimate. We do have the Macho Man Randy Savage Special uh, Commentary Exclusive Ultimate coming. It is not here yet. So today, besides obviously the very beautiful and just spectacular uh, new generation ring and entrance that you see in the back, we are going to look at Doink and Diesel. So checking these out, looking at their packages here, you can see they come in the ultimate boxes. Awesome face sculpt on Kevin Big Daddy Diesel Nash. He's got the extra head there, he's got the vest, and he's got swappable hands there. Awesome sculpt on Diesel. And then we've got Doink. Doink comes with two swappable heads. He comes with his uh, funny mallet hammer, whatever you want to call that. And he actually has six swappable hands and a, and a cloth goods jacket. So looking at the sides of these, you've got the photo on the side of Doink and Diesel. And then you've got the bios on the back side of both. So here's Diesel, Jackknife Powerbomb, gives you a little bit of information about him. And the pictures, obviously with the name Diesel there. Same thing for Doink the Clown. You have his information, and then Doink the Clown, and the other picture. So the other side looks like that, and then the tops have their names on them. Now because these were inside of the uh, massive box that you get from Mattel Creations, um, these were not sealed, so that's just how they come. There's nothing wrong with them. They just open up, like so. Look at that diesel power gives you a little little thing on the side there and then on the top also see if I can do this without dropping any pieces big daddy cool okay whoop there goes his vest I'll pick that up in a second same thing on doink the clown so doink the clown opens up <laughs> all around and the same thing here, it just says ha 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 on the top. So we're going to open these up, we're going to take a look at them in a little bit better scale so you can see them. Alright and here we have them outside of their packaging. Let's start with Doink first. Uh, as you can see here, he has his big circus mallet in his hand. Uh, I switched out some of the hands. Um, he's got the holding hands here, the fisted hands here. Uh, he's got the mean smug look on his face there. I like that one. This is a beautiful sculpt. Awesome coloring. It's a cloth goods fabric jacket. So this is removable. Uh, and underneath he just has his uh, wrestling gear on. You can see the different colored plaid underneath here. A lot of detail went into this figure. What I thought was cool too is you can actually take the hair off. Almost looks like Art the Clown from Terrifier. Uh, you can take the hair off as well. So, like I said, he comes with swappable hands, swappable heads, and uh, the accessories here. So let's take a, a cl closer look real quick at uh, two of the heads. So, here they are. You've got the different swappable heads that he comes with. One is like a, almost like a whistling. One is a, a cackling, laughing very sinister you can see the difference in the two different eyes that is a really good really good sculpt look at that that is phenomenal more than likely that's the head that I'm going to use let's pop that on there right now and see what it looks like so these are very very easy they just pop right off decapitate him put his head to the side put on the other one look at that phenomenal so that's doing the clown almost looks like old-school Joker from that view so that's great and like I said swappable hands let's see let's get his feet going uh, the articulation in these ultimates is is pretty darn good I mean you've get the you get the ab crunch there 
<laughs> Doink doesn't have much in the way of abs, but you've got that crunch there. You've got a total 360 with the head that can go all the way around. Yes, the hair comes off of the head, like I said before. Uh, now it is slightly challenging sometimes to put it back on, but there is a peg and a hole in the back there. Um, but going back to the articulation here, you've got the double jointed elbows, which you can't see under the jacket, but you can clearly tell. Wrist swivel, waist swivel, thighs, double jointed knees, and I don't love the foot bend, I get it, but sometimes when you have that foot bend, um, the figs start to fall over a little bit. So I don't love that, but Mattel does a great job with the WWE figures that that doesn't bother them too much. Too much. If you get, like I noticed a lot of the uh, McFarlane DC Multiverse ones start to fall over because of that foot bend. So I don't love that. Uh, he does come with, like I said, swappable hands. So here is the two waving hands or just palms out hands. And then you've got another fisted hand because I have one on him. And then another gripping, gripping hand. So you've got three different sets of hands all together. You've got the swappable heads. You've got Donk the Clown. Moving on to Big Daddy Cool Diesel. There really is no words for how wonderful and how beautiful this figure is. Kevin Nash, one of my absolute all-time favorites in the business. Uh, this figure just does so much justice. He has a removable vest, which I threw on there. Um, he's got these swappable hands, so I gave him the fist in the air hand and obviously the yelling face. Same thing, articulation, ab crunch. Okay, he's got more abs than Doink the Clown, I'll tell you that. So ab crunch waist swivel you can see here the double jointed elbows that's what I was talking about on doink he's got the same thing okay waist thighs double jointed knees boom look at that okay same thing goes all the way around and again you get that that foot one I, I get it I get it I do I just don't love it sometimes so uh, like I said this is a this is a like a rubber material vest, but again, the details from everything to the tassels, to the boots, to the pants, they really make these look like long, you know, the leather pants that he would wear, even as Nash. Um, he would wear the same, basically the same attire, but in different color, and obviously it didn't say diesel with Nash. So, all time favorite, Kevin Nash. Shout out to Big Kev. You've touched my hearts, big man, and uh, I appreciate that. So he comes with swappable hands. I already put uh, the fisted glove, so he has a gripping glove as well. And then he's got a fisted hand for the other hand. So you can put the fisted hand on or you can have the gripping hand. And then this is the face that he actually comes with on the fig, which is a phenomenal sculpt of Kevin's face. That is young Kev right there. So, but again, I like the screaming face a lot more. So, this was Ultimate Edition Mattel Creations New Generation Ring and Entrance Setup Diesel and Doink. Absolutely phenomenal. Must have figures. Uh, I don't know if you must have them at the aftermarket price they're going for. Absolutely not. But if you can get them a little bit later down the road for less than what they're going for now, pick yourself up some because uh, if not, you will regret it. These, if you are an Ultimate Collector, if you are a WWE Collector, uh, as you can see that I am, these are must have. So good luck, good hunting. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like Leave a comment. Let me know. Were you a Diesel fan? Doink the Clown fan? Did you love the new generation era? I know I did. I love the Attitude Era. I was a big WCW fan. I was a big Kevin Nash fan. So, were you? Did you love it? How much did you love it? Let me know. Like, share, subscribe. We'll hit you up with some more content. Some more wrestling. 
because we everybody loves wrestling and just action figure goodness thanks everybody we'll see you next time here in mike's multiverse